everyone, and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 5. This is part 20, where last time, Eli, the little bastard, took Sahelanthropus and ran away. Uh, and then Pass was also an illusion of peace and disappeared, um, only for us to be left confused and bewildered. Uh, but this episode, first things first, I got myself a stinky boy. We got Stinky Snake back. I apparently need to be stinky, and I need to have quiet, and we need to go back to Mother Base, and something is gonna happen. Now, I haven't been told what, but I gotta push in, like, this is like stuff that's completely missable. It's stuff that I wouldn't find out on my own. And people go, hey, you should try this, and we'll, and see what it is. Uh, and I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> so, apparently, if we're stinky again, and we return to Mother Base with quiet, with a bond level of 100, uh, something happens. So, Mother Base. Please select a landing zone. Let's let's return. If it's a cutscene, we'll be at the base. command platform anyway. Let's have a look and see what all the fuss is about and what you guys have been waiting to see in terms of, an, yet again, another interesting quiet scene. I assume. First time was funny, because it was like everyone just being like, uh, boss, why? And then Ocelot just throwing a bucket of water on us. Nice work today, boss. Ocelot's there with the bucket of water. Boss, another successful mission. Great to see you safe, boss. Snake, you stink. I, th I literally thought it was just going to repeat. I literally thought it was just going to repeat that same cutscene. Why is there an audience? <laughs> Why is there an audience? This is so awkward. <laughs> Ocelot. Why are you watching me? Bruh. <laughs> Why do I have an audience watching me shower? Chill. Do you guys have no respect for my privacy? What Quiet wants to share with me in her own time is her business. <laughs> Fucking s staff morale increase times three. Fucking... You! And you! And you! You dirty perverts. Jesus Christ. Interesting. This is like the first time I've actually seen Quiet uh, get off of her her chair when we've just been chilling in here. That's interesting. Okay, so there you go. She has a shower with you instead of you showering in your little in your little cubicle, and you have an audience, which is which is very interesting. Starting the episode off right. And there we go. Now she has another shower on her own. So wild. <laughs> okay, that is that out of the way. Uh, now, in terms of what to actually get through in this mission, uh, we have the additional difficulty missions, and we also have um, just random side ops to do. Nothing important uh, in terms of like no importantly labeled uh, missions. So we'll just I'll just run through. 
uh, some stuff, and then we'll we'll have to just see how see how we go. I'll smash out some side ops now, see if it triggers anything, um, and if not, we can get into some uh, of those additional difficulty missions. Boss, we have an emergency. There's been another outbreak of the vocal cord parasites on the base. Several men are dead. It started in the laboratory on the quarantine platform where the radiation leak occurred. I'd only just deployed the security team. I've sent in a rescue team to help, but they haven't returned. Boss, I need you on this. Come back to Mother Base ASAP. Another, another outbreak on the quarantine platform and it's linked to the radiation thing. What the fuck? I've just been running around doing uh, side ops and just finished completing one and it instantly just goes into this as soon as I completed it. Which is fucked. <laughs> What the hell? Here we go again. There's been another outbreak in the laboratory. The quarantine platform. We sent a team to investigate and recover the survivors, but they haven't returned. There's nothing on the radio either. We got a backup team ready to go. Just give the order and I'll, I'll go alone. Miller? Jesus. Boss, what are you... There's no need for that. We can't afford to lose anyone else. We have no idea what's going on exactly. in Exactly. Anyone still alive is at their breaking point. Last thing we need is another unit storming in. No telling how they'd react. Fine. First off, check how much the infection has spread. Rescue comes next, after we know the situation. When you're ready to move, just use the iDroid. Miller's relationship with Big Boss is so fascinating to me. Like, so fascinating to me. Like, the, the amount of growth and change that has occurred between these two characters is insane. Like, and their, and their relationship and how that is, like, how it was established and how we came to know their backstory and then how it uh, evolves in Peace Walker and how it's a bit more kind of, like, buddy-buddy, lighthearted, we're gonna fucking do this shit, man. And now it's just so... He's just so bitter. And he's, like, that... that The animation in his face then, he was, like, so pissed off um, when boss was like i'm going in and like it's it's just such an interesting relationship now like it's it's nowhere near as close as it was but it's it's like it's all that they have at this point which is very interesting we have no idea why the parasite has showed up again i thought we took care of it we need more information find out what's going on boss select the mission on your iDroid. Please? Is it a is it a particular strain though? Shining lights, even in death. Investigate the laboratory where a new vocal cord parasite outbreak has occurred, and find out how to identify who is infected. The laboratory has been sealed off, and contact has been lost with the men inside. Big boss, put on a mask, my guy, and then we'll we'll go in there. Um, interesting. Okay, we're gonna jump into this mission now, where we're gonna have to identify. Uh, what's going on and identify who's infected. All right, I was cold. I needed to put a jumper on before we get into this mission. We're ready to go. Shining lights, even in death. Let's listen to the briefing tape. Boss, we have another outbreak of the vocal cord parasite inside the quarantine platform's laboratory. Several men are dead. It began after we discovered that radiation leak in the facility's research block. I dispatched the security team to seal off the source and move the researchers to the containment block next to it. That's when they discovered the outbreak. I immediately sealed the laboratory and sent a Mop 3 rescue team, but they haven't returned and comms are dead. We have no idea why the parasite has showed up again. I thought we took care of it. I'd like to get any asymptomatic personnel out of there, but we can't tell who's infectious and who's not. We need more information. Like how to tell the two apart. Find out what's going on, boss. Well, it's still it's still got to be language strain is how to identify them, right? So maybe if we look at our people, we analyze them. 
it should have oh I don't think it I don't think it has their languages when you analyze them well let's jump in let's find out so no sortie prep we're going we go straight in I assume that's because it's the boss going in alone and we're on mother base so yeah, this is going to be a curious one. I wonder if they're going to go for like, maybe like there's like a visual identifier this time or something different, but we will we'll have a look. The boss naturally should be going into this wearing like mask or protective gear. So maybe he can't be infected with the parasite, but we just, we just be going right in there. Just put your bandana around your mouth. <laughs> put the bandana around the mouth. We'll do that instead. Boss, let's go over the situation again. We've got another parasite outbreak in the laboratory on the quarantine platform. What is this? No idea. Damn it! Huh? What the? Shit! Oh, they're turning. We've sealed okay. the exits to keep it from spreading. No one's getting out. All right, horror game time. Jesus. The researchers inside managed to isolate the parasite behind the outbreak. He faxed over his findings. Code talkers analyzing them now. Why this new outbreak? Despite our inoculation, this is still unclear. Introducing the Wolbachia to the infected prevented symptoms during the last epidemic. The parasites lodge in the victim's throat, forming a mating pair. But the Volbachia turns the male to female. Two females can neither copulate nor lay eggs. That's why the rescue team went in with more Volbachia. But the outbreak still isn't under control. They should not be capable of laying eggs. Yet, we have a new outbreak. And the Volbachia have no effect. I pray. This is not some new strain. If it is, then someone may have brought it here. If there's a spy running around. For now, we must focus on discerning the outbreak mechanism. The cases show another alarming new development. It is now even more difficult to tell who is infected. The eggs propagate out of sight. No external symptoms. One who appears healthy may be dying on the inside. What the hell happened in there? Boss, I still can't raise the rescue team I sent in. we know how to proceed if we just knew how to ID the symptoms. Finding that out is part of your job in there. It's so interesting that when we go into a mission without a sortie prep, um, that we go back to standard camo and the biotic arm as well. So no bandana, no! It's the standard, the standard uh, big boss look. So it's now even harder to identify them and to deal with it. Analysis complete. See, where the hell's my gas mask, man? Give me one. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Isn't the man on fire here as well? We put we put the man on fire oh. out here. Could it be him? Like, maybe the man on fire had, like, a strain in his body, but the man on fire can't talk. There's no mouth. Maybe it's not spread by speech. Dude, 
how eerily relevant this is to the pandemic that we are literally witnessing in real life uh, and the new strains of it that form and how it can get out of control or it can be like uh, even more aggressive than the last and all of that kind of stuff and having to like play a game where we're actually trying to figure it out as well is fucked. <laughs> Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Okay. Well, look, because I'm pretty sure the man on fire was in one of these things. And I don't, he's not in. He's not in them. Something might have happened there with him. Transmission from inside. Here's the audio. Uh, it all makes uh, sense now. Uh, I, uh, I win. Where's it coming from? Unknown. It cut off before we could get a fix. It all makes sense. I think win. It the parasite? No way to know. But right now, that's all we've got. Hopefully, he can tell us something. We'll have to close the tent behind you, boss. Don't Guys. Airborne. Oh. Don't think the infection's airborne, but I mean, it couldn't help. Yes, cool. I was like, it couldn't hurt, right? Thank you. Jesus. Find a All right. Of that transmission, boss. Find our man. You never know. You never know. Holy shit. It all makes sense now. I win. Can we start wearing can we start wearing a mask now when we go out on on missions it's like the headgear that would be cool Have we unlocked it My thoughts are racing here What is it Something sweet. I can smell it even through the mask. The rescue team reported that too. Said it smelled like ripe fruit. We cannot allow the infection to spread. If anyone right. shows symptoms, you must put them out of their misery. Well. That includes me. That includes me, Jesus. Alright, we are... Yeah, we only have... Dude, they're going like full kind of like oh, infectious um, virus horror. Like we're like go to the quarantine platform, <laughs> like and there's fucking blood everywhere. What the fuck happened here? Don't touch him. He's covered in blood. They're like, okay, here's your here's your next horror segment. Similar to when we went through the fucking, um, went through the devil's house and like, even like the, the tension and like sort of the atmosphere at the beginning of the game when we were, when we were leaving. Holy shit, dude. Stay back! Stay back! Do you imagine if? Oh my God, is he? Have we got people like murdering? Analysis complete. Uh, You're kidding, right? Because they'd be covered in blood. They'd be infected, right? Was that more of the message? We'll try to clean it up. got a mask. He's with the rescue team. And they died from before. Someone killing these people? Because, like, surely the parasites aren't making all of this mess, right? Wait. Um... How are we supposed to tell?
the hell were you thinking? Mission failed. They just told me to murder people. They just said, you gotta put them out of their misery if you think that they're infected. You kill someone. And he goes, mission failed. Mission failed. Don't touch him. He's covered in blood. So there are set people that we can kill. I guess, because we're being told to put them out of their misery, but then there are others. Yeah, he just killed that dude. He just killed that dude. He's got a mask. He's with a rescue team. And they died for him. Then you didn't kill this person. We'll try to clean it up. Okay, well I guess we'll leave you. Oh, this person is infected. Staff member and they're dead. What the fuck? Everyone's just dying right before my very eyes. Another transmission. These noises. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. How the fuck am I supposed to know? And if I kill. Shank me with a knife! Uh, there's something in the voice. There's something in the voice. When he was talking, it was sounding like super weird. Like, there was almost a bit of it that was like modulated, like, it was like, had some weird voice patterns. Maybe that is how we can tell. We have to listen to their voice and hear if there's any irregularities. But then, I killed that guy and it still wasn't acceptable. It's like an explosion of blood. Okay, what do we do here? Just CQC then? Oh. We couldn't kill them because they are set to kill themselves. I thought he was gonna just pull out a knife and try and stab me. Boss. Okay, well I guess maybe all of these people are not necessarily infected infected, they're just kind of like... <laughs> ...fucked up. And if we kill any of these people we'll have to start again. So maybe we'll get like a reveal of who it, who is safe to kill and who isn't. So I guess we just won't kill anyone for in the meantime until we can proceed. He's wearing a mask. He's part of the rescue team. Looks like he's not the one who sent the message. I'd like to hear what he has to say, but you need to keep going. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Oh. So they're hostile and killing people like the other dude. So these guys are fine, but the ones that are going to fight back is what we'll be needing to concern ourselves with. Another transmission. I have 
have analyzed part of the data that was faxed out. It appears even those who barely spoke became symptomatic. This must be some kind of mutation. Barely spoke. Do you think this could be like a uh, like a failsafe or a, um, a contingency plan in case Quiet didn't follow through with what she was supposed to do uh, as per Skullface's instruction? Which was like Quiet was supposed to speak and infect the boss and I guess you know Mother Base with the English strain. Oh fuck. Which one of you could have been infected? Just killed a rescue team, dude. But if the rescue team dude is wearing a mask. Again, we'll wait and see if someone attacks me first, otherwise I'll have to reset this thing again. snail. So he sent the transmission. Seems like he had a way of IDing who's symptomatic. But what was he trying to say? Snail. Yes, of course. It all makes sense now. Do not let anyone showing symptoms get outside. As infection progresses, it triggers an overwhelming urge to get out in the open. That's the parasite controlling them. Once outside, the birds will feed on infected bodies, spreading the parasite on land. I...
shoot, boss. We can't let them outside. Damn it. We can't allow any contagion of individuals to leave. Shoot, Snake. That's it. That's good. You still have those goggles. If you see a glow in someone's throat, that means they are infected. And all you can do is give them a quick death. Oh, TDG. Thermal imaging infection detector. Night vision goggles modified by a researcher in the lab detects the heat given off by vocal cord parasites within infected personnel and highlights the heat signature for easy identification. Holy shit, man. It begins. Yeah, you're infected. I thought you were too. And so are you. Dude, fucking like the boss actually like apologizing as he has to do this as well. Huey, you don't have a fucking platform to speak on. You fucking asshole. Dude, it's everyone. It's fucking everyone, dude. This dude's gone. Has died. Dude, holy fuck. Huey, they're literally... Oh my god. Why does Huey feel like that th th this is his opportunity to try and take some sort of fucking moral high ground? And like, be like, you're murdering your own! I'm like, yes! Otherwise the whole world will get infected, they're all fucked, they're all bleeding out of their mouths, wanting to rush to the outside and just infect people. Like, we are containing a spread. Yep. Even she was. And, and then Huey, in his, in his, uh... Wow, thank you. Huey in his uh, weird mentality thinks that he can like say something that makes him like feel superior. I'm like, dude, you're a fucking asshole. It's so interesting that Huey in Peace Walker was like, oh man, I can barely differentiate this guy from uh, Otacon because they're like they're so similar, and it's like they have like they're even the comments like deja vu, uh, like Snake and Emmerich, um, that sort of thing. Um, I was like, man, like he seems so chill, and then you get to the Phantom Pain, you're just like, holy crap, man. Huey is a monster. The music. Fucking hell, man. They're like saluting and shit. Holy crap. They're all fucking singing the theme. Hang on, boss. Is he wearing a mask? He might not be infected. Examine him with those goggles. Peace Walker main theme. It's 
yeah, it's Vampire Bat from before. He's not infected. Carry the rescue team member to the exit. Fuck. Literally the only one. The map has been updated. One way of containing the spread. One survivor. Got a survivor. Unlock the door. Boy. I, I don't think I made it after all. What? You just checked him. Could it have progressed this quickly? Boss, take another look at him with the goggles. Wow, this dude's a hero, if so. Like, he's he's not going to give, up, give it up. Yeah, he is. He is infected. I don't believe it. Fuck, man, the, f the fucking horn. Fuck, man. That's heavy. Fire out, dude. Go 
There's nothing we could have done for them. We're all grateful, boss. It's your fault! They're dead because of you! What? He's right. I killed them with my own hands. They were on your side! I'm on your side! And you turned them all to ashes! Can we throw this guy off the, the edge, please? They wanted you to shoot. It was that or be burned alive. Come on. Let's get this over with. Wait. Scatter your sorrow to the heartless sea. I will always be with you. Plant your roots in me. Bearing them at sea. What then? We'll make diamonds from their ashes. Take them into battle with us. A shining light to our brothers in arms, even in death. You just like imagine one by one snake putting his hand in all of the separate pots and just face painting one by one yes all right i'm wearing you into battle now so we're going to turn them into diamonds that music kicking in with like we are diamond dogs is great but like holy fuck man what is it with huey like, what would you prefer, sir? Please. I'm I'm happy to hear your proposition, you fucking idiot. Oh, I've got a... Updated. I don't know how you do it. I... All I could do was obsess over revenge. Doubting my comrades along the way. But even after all we've accomplished, the phantom pain never let up. Anything, it just got worse. But you understood that from the start, didn't you? From the moment you opened your eyes in that hospital, 
You knew it wouldn't go away. Yet you've been fighting the pain and confronting your phantoms the whole time. Knowing full well the battle would never end, not till the day you die. I respect that now, more than ever. It's an honor and a privilege, big boss. Wow. And now we're wearing diamonds on the diamond dog emblem. I assume everyone else is doing the same. Ah, <sighs> that's rough, man. What happened in the lab? There we go, so we've got one and two. Let's take a listen while we recover from that traumatic experience of having to murder all of our comrades. Fuck. The whole idea of the vocal cord parasites was that they'd only copulate once exposed to a specific language over time. But the parasites infecting our men in the laboratory laid their eggs straight away. The larvae were eating their lung tissue almost immediately. What kind of mutation was it? Those who were infected and cured still carried the vocal cord parasites in their throats. They were still there, but the males had been rendered female by the Volbachia, and copulation could not occur, so we thought. But it is the Volbachia that mutated, not the parasites. You remember I told you the Volbachia attempts to maximize its number of female infected hosts? Yes, hence the male-to-female transformation. Precisely. But other Volbachia strains use different methods. Cytoplasmic incompatibility, killing the males, and parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis? Aphids? 
Aphids use that to reproduce via females only. Very good. The females lay their eggs without a male present, creating clones of themselves in explosive numbers. Parthenogenesis was originally a means for an organism to take maximum advantage of abundant resources by increasing its numbers. Certain strains of Obakia forced this to occur, to create more and more infected females. And that's why our men develop symptoms in the blink of an eye. Wolbachia causing parthenogenesis is common in parasitic wasps. Of course, the Volbachia I introduced your men did not have this characteristic, but I believe the mutation, whatever it was, caused it to force parthenogenesis in its host, the vocal cord parasites. The Volbachia we used to prevent egg laying became the agent of limitless reproduction. There's something else. The symptomatic infected in the laboratory all wanted to get outside, even knowing there was napalm waiting for them out there. You said the parasites made them act that way, but parasites controlling humans. Is it possible? Parasites altering the host's behavior is a common occurrence in the world of nature. Long ago, the vocal cord parasites had this ability. But even I never foresaw they might control humans. Until I heard the things your man said. You mean the researcher on the top floor? The bit about, I'm not a snail? Yes. Among parasitic worms, there is a genus called Leucochloridium that uses snails as intermediary hosts. As you know, snails prefer dark, gloomy environments. But once parasitized by leucochloridium, they desire to be in the light. And that is not all. The parasitic worms thrust themselves into the snail's antennae, making them swell to abnormal size. The snail, meanwhile, frantically wiggles its antennae as the parasites squirm inside. The swollen wriggling antennae soon resemble caterpillars. I don't get it. It is so they can be eaten by birds. Leucochloridium needs a bird as its definitive host to breed. They require their snail host to be snapped up by a predator. So they make the humble snail appear to be a delicious caterpillar and lead it to somewhere in open sight. So you mean the staff trying to get outside? Was well, so the birds could pick at them. The parasites altered their mental state, making them crave higher places and to be outdoors. I can only surmise that both the Volbachia and the parasites mutated before the ancestors of the vocal cord parasites infected humans. Their hosts were birds. What we saw in the laboratory was some throwback to that time. The parasites attempting to make birds their intermediary hosts. It sounds insane. A prey mantis that is host to a parasitic hair worm will dive into water and drown itself. Just so the hair worm can lay its eggs in water. Rats infected with Toxoplasma gondii lose their instinctive caution and run right up to cats. Just some of the many ways parasites control the host. But we're humans. Surely our minds are too complex for that. I thought just the same. Free will is what makes us human. So it never occurred to me that the parasites could be controlling the symptomatic. But the mood. The will of a person can be easily affected by the balance of their cerebral substances. Take the toxoplasma I mentioned. It does infect humans, and it is thought the infected develop a more reckless attitude. <sighs> but to think that mutations occurred in both the Walbachia and its parasite hosts... Your observation is most apt. Both mutations occurring at once indicates the presence of a powerful mutagen. I see. Keep 
keep working on narrowing down what it was. God damn, dude. Final tape from more questioning Huey, reasons for facilitating the Wolbachia mutation. Well, doctor, I have the report on the incident at the quarantine facility. Assuming the vocal cord parasite evolved, I'm sorry, underwent a mutation. The only plausible explanations are exposure to some high concentration mutagen or radiation. And is this when we find out that this radiation leak, which then caused the mutation uh, of the vocal cord parasites, to be the work of none other than this fucking monster, Huey Emmerich, who then gives a shit for killing them? As you know, some of the staff at the quarantine facility were infected with the parasites. The Wolbachia prevented them from copulating, but the parasites themselves can't be removed from their host's vocal cords. Once you're infected with... Skullface's parting gift, you're stuck with it. The researchers regularly used X-ray equipment to monitor the parasites in their throats. No problem there, they kept a close eye on the radiation doses. But that equipment didn't just give off x-rays. It was also emitting beta rays. Even though that's unnecessary for the scans. See, beta rays have far worse effects on DNA than x-rays. Meaning the only logical conclusion is that someone added in a beta ray emitter to trigger a mutation. Those beta rays leaked out from inside the equipment. Because the emitter was retrofitted, the shielding was inadequate. And the person who ordered and inspected the equipment was you, Doctor. That makes you the only person with the opportunity to install that emitter. So now you're saying I sabotage medical equipment for some wild plan to make the vocal cord parasite kill everyone? Or maybe you thought it'd reveal a way to treat the parasite without using the Wolbachia. With that much to barter, I suppose some people would welcome even a pathetic cur like you. Just stop it! You'd have no shortage of buyers, but most would be happy with just the parasite. You wouldn't need to offer anything else. However, if that buyer already knew about the parasite, they'd also know that by itself, it's no longer the ultimate bargaining chip it once was. To sell to that buyer, you need to throw in a bonus. A way to one-up it. There's only one buyer who'd be after that. <laughs> Emmerich, we record all communications on Mother Base. That includes radio transmissions to and from homemade devices. You've been in frequent contact with people in America. A private biotech company. A client of which is DARPA. And they are connected to Cypher. You made a deal with Cypher. You offered them a new parasite in exchange for your safety. This is the only place in the world where the vocal cord parasite still exists. And you used it as a testing ground. Tried to resurrect their bioweapon. But your plan to obtain the parasite has failed. Your bullshit ends now. And don't think you're leaving here alive. And he doesn't have much to say in response. He's fucking... Urgh! Why is he still here? Why do we keep, even keep him around and let him move about? Put him in a fucking bin and shoot that bin into the sun. Like... And then it's done. Holy shit. Well... That was that main mission completed. Shining lights, even in death. Uh, God damn it, man. Uh, I will look into completing some more side ops, and we'll see what that may end up uh, triggering in case of more story stuff. So take a quick little side ops break, and then we'll we'll see what happens. Mission list got updated. Minute. It's about the quarantine facility. We've more or less figured out what caused the mutation in the vocal cord parasites. It was the radiation from that scanner. And the one who installed it was Emmerich. I've added a tape recording of the interrogation. You should listen to it. 
All right, completed some side ops, got an update. Time moves for no man but me. So I finally completed some side ops, moving the time along, getting another update to questioning Huey, reasons for facilitating the Wolbachia mutation number two. Let's have a listen. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Just what do you plan to do? Present the charges against you and render an appropriate punishment. You're gonna put me on trial? <laughs> Call it what you like. What's the meaning of this? Out of here. All of you. Back to your posts. No, hang on. Huey has killed their comrades and interfered with their lives. They've had all they can take. Go! Go! This is insane! You have no evidence whatsoever! You say you're an army free from government. You talk big about being a nation unto yourselves. But, but from the outside, you're just thugs, rebels, a militia, you terrorists, an unhinged threat to society. You're nothing but a, a bunch of psychopaths! You are. So you're not with us? N no! I, I didn't... I thought we were on the same side. That's too bad. I... I didn't mean... Men, you will have justice. But our organization, the boss's organization, is built on order and reason. There will be no lynch mob. So stand down for today. We will gather all the evidence of this man's crimes. And then, he will be tried. Dismissed! What do you think you're doing? Go ahead and execute me. It'll be murder in the eyes of the world. You've lost your minds. Don't you get it? You're seeing phantoms. Just look at that dog. No. You named him D-Dog, but it's obvious anyone could see that's a wolf. Because you're all a bunch of wild dogs. You wanted to believe he was too. To feel some connection. To fight your loneliness. You wanted something to cling to, to prove you deserve to be alive. You wanted to forget the death, your sins. So you'd cling on to dogs, or, or wolves, or even Big Boss. The boss is the same, isn't he? Every one of you is alone. That's why you suspect your own. I know, because I do the same. I'm one of you, too. Alone. Open your eyes! What you're doing is murder! Plain and simple. All you ever create is war! War and violence can never lead to peace! Uh, Huey sucks. <laughs> Huey sucks. Um, that felt like it was supposed to be a cutscene. I wish that was a cutscene. It would have been. It would have been cool to see. Maybe we'll get a follow-up in a cutscene, potentially. Um, if we do end up putting him on trial. But there we go. We got an update in the form of a cassette tape. Again, I will go back to my. To my side up adventures. Uh, essentially, I'm just working through uh, everything that I can find because it looks like sometimes it skips some and it like jumps all the way up ahead. So I'm trying to complete missions in numerical order, and then it pops up with like the earlier, the earlier missions uh, once again. So I'm not like missing out on anything. So we'll smash out some more side ops, uh, and then see if we get any more updates. Boss, you there? We have a problem. The staff have found out everything that Emmerich's been up to. They're right on the edge. I need you to intervene before things get out of control. Get back to Mother Base ASAP. Just been extracting some highly skilled soldiers, and we finally received the update we've been looking for. Everyone's on edge. What the fuck's going on with Huey? Can we throw him into the garbage yet? He's given us a battle gear. What purpose does this man serve? Here we go. This is the cutscene I was hoping for. This man 
acted as accomplice to the attack on Motherbase. He then provided support to Skullface. Conspiring with Eli, he repaired Sahelanthropus in secret. His research materials caused the leak at the quarantine facility, which in turn caused the Walbachia mutation, letting the parasites off their chains. We lost a lot of good men. He also stands accused of murdering one of his own family, hiding the body. I haven't killed anyone. The rest is all wrong, too. The inspection was supposed to help everyone. I sacrificed myself for my companions just as much as any of you. Why won't you believe me? The prosecution calls a witness. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is what that shot of the AI pod was for in the cha uh, Chapter 2 trailer. Strange Love's gravestone. Haunted by her phantom. It's just a machine. Huey! Damn it, Huey! Open it now! Please! Ah, uh, the recording. It recorded it all. Everything. Everything you did living together. How could a machine... You forced your own son into the cockpit of a Metal Gear, a test subject. How? His mother had to hide him away, and for that you locked her in that coffin. No! She... she did it herself! It was suicide! And even if I did, what right do you have? There's more. We have you to tell us everything you've done, everything you've thought, all this time. Nine years ago, you agreed to the inspection in return for Cypher's guarantee that you'd be spared. I thought it was real! We've reviewed into everything else that's happened since you arrived here. Please. Guilty! All counts. Kill him! 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 Kill that son of a bitch! Kill him! Kill him! We exist outside the law. What should we do, boss? Just give the order. We'll handle the rest. Prepare a life raft. Big enough for one. Who'd want her to? Us. He's leaving. You... He's responsible for... For all of this! Think of all the men! He didn't lose a damn thing! This is the enemy! And he's here on his knees! Us. You are right. He is not one of us. But we are not responsible to judge an enemy. He leaves Mother Base, and that'll be the end of it. Sending him on his merry way. Get back! Don't touch me! I'm innocent! Jesus Christ. You're the murderers! Snake! You should be in this boat! There'd have been no inspection if it weren't for your precious nuke! I risked my life trying to save you all! How can you do this? 
Boy Who Cried Wolf. One here? I... My... It's not my fault! Oh, wow. Ah, oh, because they're heavy. They're too heavy. Look, you can't discard your phantoms forever, Doctor. Son of a bitch will make it, you know. I can see it now. In no time, he'll be telling tales about the black-hearted diamond dogs. The shining white knight, blabbering on about our injustice, hiding behind his fool's idea of morality. And all the other fools will stand around, nodding with every word he says. No. One day he'll see through the lies he's built up, realize what kind of man he really is. What goes around comes around. You can't run from yourself forever. <laughs> he's gonna get a fucking girlfriend, is what's gonna happen. And then his girlfriend. It's gonna be the new stepmom of Hal. And then some weird stuff's gonna happen. And then Hal uh, will run away and leave, and EE e. will feel like she was abandoned, and Huey will meet his end drowning, I believe. Isn't that what happened? so fucking bizarre because yeah it's it it makes you it makes you really think because they were like fuck man realistically they should be doing away with huey he has done unspeakable things and he's destroyed people's lives and is responsible for so many deaths and i feel like it's almost at a thing where it's like uh, the kind of the main thing or the only thing holding them back from being able to like actually take that action is like We've established that he's alive in the future already. <laughs> uh, so he has to go on his life raft without his legs and just with some food and water. And now he must survive out on his own. He's finally been casted out, at least. And we've got three more tapes. Code Talker and his research continues. Uh, we've also got Emmerich's uh, research notes. Otaku spirit. So now we're going to find out what's going on in these research notes. As well as listen to these tapes that are probably going to have some lengthy ones in there. Especially when you see Code Talker's research, you're like, oh, it's time for a story. Side ops list updated. Boss, maybe you realize by now, Mission but list updated. There's no other way to say it. Quiet's gone. She pulled her camo stun, stowed away on a departing chopper. After pinpointing which she took, we figured out her destination. Afghanistan. Get after her. Only you can do this. Us. I told you this would happen. I wish I could say good riddance. But Quiet knows too much about us. Please? We can't just leave her out there. Remember what you told me when she first got here. One of these days, we're gonna have to kill her. Clans, when the time comes, I'll pull the trigger. I'd say that time has come. Wow. Wow. Okay. I like that they're like, oh yeah. Um. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, they're like, um. I'm sure you've noticed by now. It's like, what do you mean? How am I supposed to notice that? Oh, secure quiet. Secure Quiet is an important side op, so we got another main mission that they haven't yet touched on, but also uh, a side op to Secure Quiet. And then we've got some more cassette tapes. Uh, so let's have a look. We'll run through the cassette tapes as we go through the beautiful, beautiful lore um, that we're going to get, uh, and then we'll move into that side op. So let's get into this now. The R&D team's going to take over Emmerich's work. He may be gone, but it won't affect us one bit. We'll be able to deliver whatever you need just like before. You can depend on that. One other thing. I'm tracking his whereabouts. Nothing to report at the moment, though. 
Let it go. He's gone. The guy's gone. I know. I just want to be sure. Not like I'm losing sleep over this son of a bitch. Open this thing! Huey! Damn it, Huey! Open it now! Please! Let me out! Kill me. Kill me! Man. If only I'd tried to get out sooner. Perhaps I'd have made it. Why didn't I stop the hatch from closing? Even if it meant losing an arm. Dude, we actually get more strange love. Did not expect a strange love recording. This would have been an interesting cutscene because you would have been able to get the visualization of being trapped in there and the claustrophobia and like how she's feeling in these moments of silence. I guess I'll stay a while. My voice is so distant. But you can hear me, can't you, Joy? I know you can. You're recording all of this. Deep down in some memory board he'll never find. Duplicating it. Burying it under heaps of meaningless code. <laughs> anyway, I guess I can say what needs to be said. I can still do that much. Talk to you. Even if I can't face you. Even if there's a heaven. Even if you're waiting there. I don't deserve to see you again. I... I don't deserve to love you. I signed up for Zero's plan. Even now that he's halfway to dead, his plan lives on, leeching away at the palm. And it took your strength to make it happen. In using you, I put the world in his palm, once and for all. Zero. Zero, or whoever it is who's taken his name, they found me after the Caribbean. They made me simulate his will so that even after the body was gone, that will would keep the world turning the way they wanted. I had no choice. They dredged Lago Corsi Bulka. Hold up your phantom. Forced me to revive and modify you. Yeah. I thought I could bring you back. But in the end, I sold your will to him. Yeah, we got that in a recording ages ago that Strange Love went to go pick up the pod. 
Now this part is just one big shell. A husk. <laughs> Your phantom's no longer here. As for me, everything I touch turns to ashes. I could never make anyone happy. <laughs> see my son again <sighs> but at least Hal's free from his father's hands <sighs> me with child can you imagine? No wonder how you took the news. Were you jealous? I knew what I was doing. Do if I could pass your you. will onto a child I carried, my genes, your beam, a father would be. Irrelevant. If I did that, that child would be ours. The boss's meme. see through the dream the false you I created I only wanted to pass your will on to the next generation but zero took it away and now I haven't just lost you I've lost my Forgive the mother who couldn't protect you. The one who let them take it all away from us. Oh. Oh. There's still hope. You, the one he took away. He'll never break your will. The will to make this world the way you saw it could be. I buried code, just to be sure. Inside of you, there is an egg. And when someone finds it, when they crack it, There'll be nothing left to stop you. The world you envisioned will become a reality. Surely. for you. The system, the framework for your world will protect you. You don't need me. You just need to be strong enough 
Far right, out, dude. That was uh, Strange Love's pulse slowly getting slower and slower and then stopping. Uh, very touching and tragic. Her last thoughts and words being all about the boss, all about joy, and all about Hal and the future. Fuck, man. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, Code Talkin's research is just one tape. It's not a whole group of tapes, so we're good. It appears I was looking at things wrong. What do you mean? All of you. Until now, I had thought of your organization, Diamond Dogs, as a superorganism. Uh, you'll have to explain that one. The term refers to a unit of eusocial insects like ants or bees. While made up of many individuals, they behave as though they are one organism, with the queen as their nerve center. The close ties you share here reminded me of that. Well, the boss's efforts do pull us all together. I was not finished. I'm speaking in terms of homogeneity. You come from all walks of life, do you not? Many races and tongues, talents and pasts, complementing each other, influencing each other, making Diamond Dogs the unique group that it is. Of course. We have no use for mindless drones around here. Is that so? Then perhaps an organization like yours is a truer superorganism than the ants and bees. Meaning? Most well, organisms well, adapt well, to their environment by coexisting with other species. Take the cow, for instance. Its rumen, the first stomach, contains an incredible number of bacteria which digest the food it has consumed. Without their help, the cow could not break down the fiber in grasses. The cow has to outsource its means of survival to them. You don't say. Man is the same. Some 100 trillion bacteria live inside the human intestines. Without the bacteria, they could not function properly. And it does not stop there. The stomach, the mouth, the skin, even the placenta contains bacteria that coexist with us. The same is true of parasites. In fact, the human immune system has evolved based on parasites being a part of it. Without them, the immune system can run amok and even damage other parts of the body. This is all very interesting, but what does it have to do with diamond dogs? A harmonious superorganism is made up not of a group of homogeneous individuals, but of diverse individuals that complement each other. That is what I saw in your group here. Then it occurred to me that man is a superorganism. Man's phenotype is not determined solely by his genetics. Some say if you mapped the genomes, of all bacteria in the human body. The result would be over 100 times bigger 
and the human genome. The sum of man's genome and those of the organisms he coexist with. Call it a metagenome. Creates the superorganism we know as a human being. Oh, now that's quite a leap. You think so? Then try a broader perspective. If our world were a human body, you would be parasites. You make a living by doing the dirty work that the world powers cannot handle themselves. From their perspective, you are likely a nuisance. But without you, pus would build up around the world, and autotoxemia, self-poisoning, would follow. The world needs your kind. Thank goodness for that. Skullface forced me to turn parasites into weapons. Creatures with which we are supposed to coexist. Meanwhile, that foundation I worked with focused solely on the human genome. Apparently thinking that manipulating it would get them whatever new form they want. Both ways are mistakes. Neither is a true superorganism. I am Dine. By speaking with those living inside me, we enhance one another and enjoy harmonious growth. Such was the original purpose of my research. You have made me remember this. <laughs> well, it's an honor. You can travel the world, but you won't find another place like this. If the whole world was like this base, I think the peoples of the world would bid farewell to fighting for good. Maybe that's what the boss wanted in the end. Ooh, Ocelot. Ocelot. Ocelot, Ocelot gets it. Uh, before I forget, let me just have a quick look at what we just got from uh, Huey. Because what did we get? We got Emrex Research Notes. Make stealth camo available for development. Okay. We'll get to that note, but let me just quickly have a look. I am so annoyed <laughs> that while I'm in the middle of listening to those notes, pops up with being like, Sniper Wolf uh, outfit for Quiet has now been developed. Woo! <laughs> and as soon as I am like, cool, awesome. Oh, Quiet just left Mother Base. And now I have to go get her Mac, and hopefully that means she comes back to the base because come on I just I, I just made a whole goddamn sniper wolf outfit for her now we got the stealth camo maybe I just don't have the stuff for it hold on Gotta look for it, I guess. Does anything go up to like, goes up to like grade 15? Is there anything that actually goes up to that amount? Sneaking suit for 2.4 million can do that, wow. Jesus. Much better defense. Alright. I'm not seeing anything in terms of because we've got stealth camo as if like the item we've already got that so maybe it's just that I was thinking maybe it might have actually been like a camouflage which would have been awesome but maybe not all right what happened in the lab I want to thank you code talker you're pinpointing the cause of the vocal cord parasites mutation enabled us to purge an enemy from mother base you mean that scientist yeah, I was convinced he'd betrayed us, but I was wrong. He was never on our side to begin with. So ultimately, there was no traitor among us. And yet I made everyone distrustful with my talk of spies. The end result being men turning on each other in the laboratory. You must not blame yourself. They were all infected with the mutated strain. The outcome would have been the same. You know, we defeated Skullface. But it didn't lessen our pain. It's a pain we'll never be rid of. I see that now. 
but I thought I could burn it away. In the end, all I burned was her own men. Infectious diseases, parasites. Without such foreign enemies, the immune system will start attacking the body, developing allergies and autoimmune diseases. The same is true of organizations. You're right, but I do not deserve to rebuke you. My desire to retaliate against the English language is what attracted me to the focal cord parasites in the first place. Had it not been for that, I would never have been used by Skullface. We both allowed revenge to crawl into our minds and lay its eggs. Sahelanthropus will unleash that thirst onto the future. How long are we going to be tormented by what he left behind? There is no choice but to live with that pain. Be symbiotic with our vengeful nature. Whatever we do, we must not allow that thirst for revenge to control us. Not bad. Okay. Interesting. We will now move into the side op with those recordings complete. We will move in to secure quiet. So she's actually hanging around near the ruins, uh, which is where we first did battle with her. So she's around here. To Afghanistan. What is she doing? Hopefully we can bring her back home. So... No! Alright. We'll roll on in. We need to secure quiet. Is it going to be another thing where we have to, like, snipe her? The tapes were like, hey, you said that you would put a bullet in her if you had to. Now the time has come. And I'm like... <laughs> The 150th side up. Why? What if we just, you know, said, hey, quiet, why did you leave? It, you were kind of just chilling out. I don't understand how at this point in the game, though, we, ha we still had her in the medical facility cell. Because we knew we sh she could leave and get out whenever the hell she wanted. I would have probably by this point in the game, given her at least her own quarters or something. How, how it makes anyone on Motherbase feel safer by having her in there is beyond me, considering she can just leave whenever. So she may as well have just... I would have given her her own quarters instead of just putting her in a cell at this point. So another important side up. Me off, please. Be careful down there, boss. Now, is she just gonna be walking around? Is she gonna be sniping? What's the go here? Just need D dog. Arrived at mother base. Point her out for me. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis okay, D complete. Marker placed. D dogs Analysis bringing complete. out the big guns and marking Analysis everybody for me. Complete. Marker placed. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Okay, so we've got a guard post. here somewhere. Oh. Hasn't been marked yet. Oh. Okay. Analysis complete. 
Analysis complete. You have arrived at your destination. Check this out, by the way. Woo! This, this, that was fun to develop, let me tell you. That was awesome. <laughs> Destination. Very satisfying fault and recovery device. Get sucked in. Ooh, intel file. She been moved? Could she have been moved? What are you talking about, dude? How's this dude not gone to wake up this body? God, they're all staying red, like they all think they're slick, that they're about to try and stab me. I'm like, nope, not happening, sir. Now wake up, get on the ground. Then we'll check this intel file, and then we'll go over there, I guess, if we have to. We have to just like take into consideration that Quiet could literally be right next to us. Quiet could be with us right now because she can just appear when she feels like it. She could just be watching us search for her right now if she wanted. Intel file obtained. Extraction arrived at mother base. Oh, okay. Cutscene? Whoa! It goes into a main mission. No! A quiet exit! Why are we in the helicopter? Boss, we've gone over the prisoner transport log you found. Oh. It was grabbed by the Soviets and moved to Lamar Hate Palace. She's being held at Lamar Hate Palace. Make your way there. But how is she a prisoner? A quiet exit, dude. Can't blame them for wanting payback. Why did she just let herself get captured? I think it is time you knew. Quiet was carrying local court parasites. The English strain, to be precise. The third English pair, Skullface, was using her as a vector. An ace in the hole if his assassination plan failed. I knew it. But quite chose not to speak. She told me the situation. Now, the only language to which the parasites do not react. If you found out, she could not remain among you. And yet, she refused the Wobakia treatment. Why? Because part of her still wanted revenge against you. Revenge against the boss. In order to stay here, she took a vow of eternal silence. But then, that sudden mutation showed this was not enough. As long as the parasites were inside her, she could not predict what might happen. And that's why she took off? Sacrificing herself to make sure the English strain died with her? Maybe. Or maybe she only wants to infect the world. 
can't let her go free. The vocal cord parasites are the last of Skullface's legacy. It's up to us to erase it. Boss, the targets are quiet and the English strain she's carrying. Your objective is to extract her. But if worst comes to worst, she may have to be eliminated. Both her and the parasites. We don't know for sure what Quiet's up to, but we need to secure her ASAP. She's being held at Lamar Hate Palace. Make your way there. But I wanna bring her back to Mother Base so we can put her in the Sniper Wolf outfit. And she's a cool buddy. I don't want to have to eliminate her, and I certainly don't want this to be her leaving. God damn it. <laughs> Quiet exit, huh? The vocal cord parasites are the last of Skullface's legacy. It's up to us to erase it. Boss, the targets are quiet and the English strain she's carrying. Your objective is to extract her. But if worst comes to worst, she may have to be eliminated. Both her and the parasites. She let herself get captured. Boss, we've located Quiet in Afghanistan. She's been captured by the Soviets and taken to Lamar Hate Palace. Why did she leave Mother Base and return to Afghanistan? And why hand herself over to the Soviets? I just can't imagine what she was thinking. Right after her recent actions finally earned her more fans around here too. Boss, you need to go and get her out. You're not just going to leave her in their hands, are you? Oh. Haven't detected any... Haven't detected any soldiers yet. Alright, let's have a listen to this tape before we move in. God, I could have just gone from the top. Why did Quiet disappear? Boss, we've gone over the prisoner transport log you found. Oh. Quiet was grabbed by the Soviets and moved to Lamar Hate Palace. They lost a lot of men to her. Can't blame them for wanting payback. But why did she just let herself get captured? I think it is time you knew. Oh, it's the tape. Quiet okay. was carrying vocal cord parasites. The English strain, to be precise. The third English pair. Skullface was using her and ate I knew, but she told the only language if you found out. And yet, why? Because the revenge against them in order to stop it, but then, as long as that's what Sakura may be, whatever her the vocal cord is up to up us. The targets of your objective both her. We don't know for sure, but we need to. She's being held at Lamar Hate Palace. Okay. Make your I just wanted to make sure if that had anything bonus in there, but they just played the cassette tape for us as the mission thing. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. You should have just marked it as red. Okay. There's no soldiers. Oh shit. She's not looking so good. She looks sick. just not have her abilities? <sighs> what the fuck, dude? Dude, holy fuck. God. 
God, quiet is fucking amazing. <laughs> uh, that soldier was about to do what I think he was about to do, so all of that was deserved. Bring the pain. Yes, bring the pain, quiet. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I think there must there must be some sort of problem with her abilities. Although she wouldn't have taken she wouldn't have let herself like almost drown for that long. Oh shit. Oh no, she's got her abilities. There you go. Okay, never mind. Oh, oh dude. Oh, fucking hell, quiet. <laughs> oh, my God. Absolutely incredible. Jesus. Quiet, quiet is like horrifying when she wants to be. Guys haven't forgotten about that tank in the distance. Ooh, she's back, baby. Fancy new rocket launcher weapon right there. Is she gonna blow up that tank? I'm gonna blow up that tank. Dude, the boss and quiet are a fucking amazing pair. Extraction arrived at the metabase. You're surrounded. There's no escape. You and quiet will have to take them out. Mission info has been updated. No! Destroyed! I was going to use that as a backup! I was going to use that gun as a backup, goddammit. Nice. Uh, I've only got four rockets. Because there's another one out there too. Is that going to blow up because it's already on fire? Yes. Nice. Oh, fuck. 
Okay, so it's gonna blow up when it's already on fire. Wait for this one to get in a bit closer. Ah, oh, that's gonna take more than two, though. Oh, Quiet's actually got health. Oh, shit. What does that mean? Quiet's got health? Oh, hang on. There was a pop-up there. Is that gonna give... Is that actually gonna give me ammo for my rocket launcher? Fucking better. Holy shit. How the fuck are we supposed to... What did it say when I asked for ammo? Oh, qu dude, Quiet is actually doing pretty good with that. That sniper is actually doing a great job. Holy shit. Alright, cool, I get ammo. Dude. Quiet's able to fuck shit up, too. That's great. Shit, dude. Ah, oh, did I get a free one? I think I got a freebie. I think I got a freebie. Dude, quiet's just fucking them up. Oh my god. I'm getting screwed way more. Ah! ah I took a shot to the head! Fuck. Talk to me! Snake! Okay. We know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. I don't think we're gonna I don't think it's gonna be a good idea to get onto that on that gun. Whoa. I'm just going to call in my own supply drop. A drop point. Items or ammo suppressors fused with weapons not yet developed will be excluded, right? But it's still, it, that's what it says, but it was still giving me, it's still giving me Grom ammo anyway. I'm assuming that's because I actually do have a Grom developed, just not this maybe specific one that I've been given. But it still gives me ammo. Oh, she just took a fucking hit, dude. Boss, if you're gonna protect Quiet, you'll need to attract the enemy to you. Oh, that did not fucking go go well. Alright, don't fucking do that. Me just thinking it was gonna be like one tank before? Holy shit. Oh, my health just isn't coming back. 
My health just isn't coming back for this. Snake? Like, I'm not running or anything. Alright, we got this. Can I use the... <laughs> Never mind. Just stick to using the Grom. Lure him away from Quiet so she doesn't take any damage because protect Quiet at all costs. Oh, okay, got it. Nice. Is that not done yet? Oh, I thought you'd be done. How's that tank still going? I just shoot over here to keep just keep their attention. Focus on me. Oh, damn, dude. It's like final stand type shit with me and Quiet right now. Up. Tank in the distance. Oh. Fuck. Okay. Can I stand still? Can my health come back, please? Is it gonna come back? Thank you. Oh shit, man. Dude, as soon as I get- as soon as I get up, I'm back in the red again. I was stuck there. Snake, talk to me! Snake! Snake! You go through missions, like, cruisy for ages, and then all of a sudden you're just like, you get hit with that fucking wall. And you're just like, holy shit. You're surrounded. There is no escape. You and Quiet will have to take him out. Maybe I should try and call in an actual a different rocket launcher. That one that might do some more damage. Could be an idea. I just took a direct fucking tank shot to the face. Jesus Christ. How is that tank? Okay, it's almost gone. Alright, let me fucking call in an actual specific weapon here. This one's gonna be better. Give me that. Alright, let's wait for that to come in instead. Come on, come on, come on, they're moving in. Hey, okay, give me this shit. Okay. Check that velocity out, baby. That tank's hidden for now. Oh, 
Are you going quiet? Be careful. Alright, nice. Supply drop coming in automatically now. Oh my god, stop fucking aiming. It's so weird. It's like glitching when I'm looking. What is this? What is my character doing? Look, what is this weird? What is going on? Okay, it's when I'm like stood over like a particular spot. The boss, the boss just starts fucking glitching. About reinforcements for me. Get ready while we have the time. Come on. What are you talking about? Supplies requested. Supply I'm putting in a lot of effort uh, to get quiet here. Don't let them get close. Oh shit. Shit, why is the supply drop right fucking here? Oh, the fucking power line's coming down. Alright, that's gonna blow up. Oh shit. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, it's right there, Jesus. How am I being so dumb and not even paying attention to that? Alright, you're gonna blow up. God damn. Fucking kidding me, dude. Oh my fucking god, dude! They're so far away and they're shooting me. They're so fucking away, so fucking far away, and they're getting like bullseyes. I get that they're in tanks, and I get that they can see by so far away. Good, you get a checkpoint. <laughs> I was like, bruh, come on! No way. Try to predict their route. They're coming from every direction, dude. Where is it? Okay, it's gonna blow up, that's fine.
Hey guys, I could do with one of those supply drops now. Are you calling it in or am I calling it in? I guess I'll call it in. Please select and draw supplies requested. Excuse me? Snake, Dude, fucking me. hell. Snake. I'm getting just like murdered in one hit. Come on. I mean, I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. I'm just waiting. I'm getting absolutely eliminated in one hit. Please select of supplies requested. Enemy dead ahead. Don't let them get close. I need a fucking grenade launcher as well for people. Supply drop. These guys are insanely accurate. Like, look how far away he's shooting at me from. Analysis complete. Give me this thing, please. Just bring it. She's calling in. Yeah, she's like she's putting the flare down to call in supply drops for me as well. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, give me a second. I'm kind of busy right now. Why am I fucking stuck on a rock? What killed me there? Why do I keep dying in like one hit? It's not even an explosion. I'm getting like shot in the head and I'm done. What the fuck is killing me? <laughs> the only confusing part about this is I'm like, I'm like, I'm... Try to predict the enemy's route. I don't have time to plant mines, dude. That's not happening. Um, I just find it ridiculous that it's just like... You can sustain so much damage normally, but I'm getting like almost one shot. Like, I'm taking a couple of hits, but then it's like... I'm not getting blown up by anything, because I'm not seeing an explosion. I feel like I need to watch my deaths in slow motion, because they happen so fast. You die, and then it fades to black immediately, so I'm not even able to actually like identify what the hell went wrong. I'm like, oh, something got me, I guess. And that's it. Something got me. It's just like predict their routes. Like, well, they're gonna come on a pathway, and that's 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 it. For me to have to run in each direction and start planting mines would be such a such a hassle. Jesus.
Oh my god, a fucking chopper as well. This is where I need to kill a bee. I can't even see what the hell killed me just then, because I had enough health. What the fuck is happening? So Quiet ends up dropping a supply drop, like, on your location. So if I hold if I hold all the way back here, I won't be so out in the open when I need to grab my shit, which is good. Like, holy crap, man. Like, all of the, all of, like, the soldiers basically have snipers. All of the vehicles are so heavily locked onto you. Like, it's the biggest difficulty spike I have seen. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> just, like, ev all of a sudden, they just brought out, like, the fucking most enhanced soldiers that they had. I've never, like... I'm just constantly dying in one hit. I'm at full health and I'm dying in one shot and I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know if it's a sniper, if it's a vehicle. I can't actually pinpoint the problem because as soon as you're dead, you can't see anything and it fades to black. I'm like, which enemy? While I was inside, it's making me very frustrated because it's just like, I am bashing my head against the wall being like, Okay, what's the problem? I know that they I'm getting overwhelmed from all sides, but I'm like, I shouldn't be dying in one hit. The game has like the balls to say, hey, go and plant some mines. It's like by the time I run out there and put some mines down, I'm gonna get overwhelmed and overrun on the other side. Shortly. These goddamn enemies, dude, that can shoot me from so far away. Look at that. Alright, quiet, don't drop it. No! Don't drop the fucking... No! You're gonna ask for the supply drop there. I'm screwed if you do that. God damn it, quiet. One hit. I have eaten tank shells. I've taken them to the face before and it hasn't killed me. So are they just sending out bigger, stronger tanks that can kill me in one hit? I assume so. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. Oh, there's a f there's like a f there's a fucking tank out there that is just a literal like one shot, like missile of doom, like it like just ready to fucking wreck me. Well, I'm trying. I really am. Is that the tank with the fucking one shot? And I got this stupid, like, aiming glitch thing where my camera keeps shaking. I'm gonna die! <laughs> we got APCs just rocking up as well. There's a fucking helicopter coming in too. Can I do this? I don't think so. 
Wait for the other sub. Ah, I put it up there. God damn it! I didn't think there was rocks here. Oh, for fuck's sake! How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Why did I put the supply drop up here? I can't even get up there. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Why? Oh my god. You can't even you can't even get up there. Let me just sorry, just let me call that in again because there's a fucking mountain range behind me. I just don't want quiet to die. While we're getting overwhelmed by shit. Dude, okay, give me this shit back. Please. Okay. Just reload, god damn it. Come on. Alright, ch chopper is fucking down. What else we got out here? Is there even anything? There. literally run fucking hell I hate to get caught on rocks everything in this game in this mission is pissing me off in this moment it's like all culminating and like holy shit this mission sucks dude who is this mission for what look at this guy look at this aiming <laughs> go quiet kill this motherfucker come on who is this mission for this is the worst There's just multiple tanks. There's just many. Whee! Almost done. Okay. And we're sandstorming as well. Watch it find me through the sandstorm. They're shooting at me through the sandstorm because he's got night vision goggles as well. God damn it. This was just the weirdest side op out of nowhere. Sorry, main mission because it jumped into it. But it's just like, all of a sudden it's like, oh, by the way, endless fucking... <laughs> endless fucking vehicles. Oh my god. God damn. <laughs> this was not it. Did Quiet just eat a rocket launcher? Did I just eat a rocket launcher? Okay, she's okay.
quiet. Ooh, she took a bruise. Droids busted. We're gonna have company. No water, no sun. Don't you dry up on me. True. <laughs> Boss, do you copy? Boss, do you know where the landing zone is? Head for the LCD. Another mechanized unit is approaching your area. Oh, I've got nothing. Fuck's sake. Holy shit. Don't even have night vision goggles. Alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, fuck. This is honestly like when they were just like, yeah, let's do an all out action mission. Not fun. Giant bruise that quiet's sporting. Come on, quiet. Don't let this be your exit. It's not a quiet exit for you. Let's fucking get out of here. Damn, dude. That looks rough. Snake to snake. Holy fuck, they're not <laughs> they are not holding back. Christ. Full on convoy. Quiet, be quiet. Dead, no. I got nothing on me. Attention, buddy. Good to know that that soldier in particular uh, has tunnel vision. Oh, another one. It's me, Snake. Oh, you fuck. Oh, and he's been bitten by a snake too. We're fucked. Oh my god. Hey! 
Now he really is Venom Snake. Oh, we just both passed out. Fuck, dude. What the hell does this mean? Wow. You patching me up? Man. Oh no, she's gonna have to do it to save his life. gonna have to oh she didn't she's going to I'm either dead now or I'm dead later She's going to speak. The boss is with me. Ahab? Wait, who is this? Identify yourself. There's no time. Hurry! Where are you? What is your location? away from us. Circle back to your 8 o'clock. Copy that. Guide me to your location. Wow, because she can, she can sense it. Proceed to your 10 o'clock. Understood. Dude! The English strain. One Copy. One o'clock. She's yeah. saving the boss now, but... But now he's been infected. 1.5 miles. Slide right. A little more. She broke her vow of silence. Yes, there you go. One more mile. Strong winds approaching. Quick, adjust to your right. Left. A little left. Yes. Now hold your position and proceed straight. Half a mile to go. <sighs> Pequod, I can see you. I have a visual. There you are, Ahab. Visual confirmed. <laughs> We go the whole game without being called, like, Ahab for a really long time. We haven't not been called Ahab. The boss is here. We have not heard Ahab in such a long time. Pretty sure Pequod is the, the only one to, like, uh, I've been pretty sure ages ago Pequod called us Ahab as well. Now we're getting called Ahab again. Dude, what the fuck? She spoke. She fucking spoke. Oh my god. Alright, uh... <laughs> oh boy. Okay, uh, I am going to take a quick break before we proceed with whatever the hell comes next. Alright, let's proceed, finally, with the ending, or the post-mission. Uh, of a quiet exit. I'm curious to see how this is going to go now. Boss. Boss. 
I gave you an anti-venom. Nice. And we've now spoken. We've got to go. Client's gone. Dude, we just... Uh, we've been infected with the English, English strain. Let's go, boys. Dude, what about the what about the consequences of this? Client's gone. She's left. We come here to get her back, only for this absolute disaster to happen, forcing her to break her vow of silence. She might still be here. Is the boss gonna try and track her? He is. Man, we haven't had to tap into tracking for a little while, have we? I'm surprised the helicopter's not just like kicking up a full like sandstorm. Mission info has been updated. Oh, do we do we have a choice right now? I think we've got a choice right now. We either get in the helicopter or we follow this uh, these footsteps. Wow. I think that's what's happening. No, it's not happening! It was just communicating that she's gone. Okay, the footsteps stopped because she would have faded away. Oh, no, it's a mission area. It still says to locate quiet. There's a mission area here. I'm, fu I'm going. We're fucking going. Yes, the footsteps do continue. Okay, good. I need to just not get them mixed up with my own. Can I use... Oh, I've got nothing. God damn it, I need to... Can't confuse those footsteps with my own. I think it's this way. Oh, there we go. It's more. Yeah, the helicopter is staying. It's not going anywhere. We're, s we're hearing her, s like, not her singing, but we're hearing a little bit of Sins of the Father. Her doing the... Da -da -da. Oh, there's more footsteps. God, this is fucking... Challenging, to say the least. Oh my god, did she record a tape, dude? I did not choose to be quiet. I wanted to express my feelings to you. If only we shared a common tongue. Dude. Vengeance was what drove me to them. The only language left to me. Revenge. But the words we shared. No, that was no language at all. That is why. I chose the language of gratitude instead, and go back to silence. I am quiet. I am the absence of words.
a quiet exit. Hey, da. Oh. <laughs> we lost quiet. She's on. She's gone, but she's also she broke her vow of silence. She's spoken. What are the repercussions of this? It's giving us like full. It's giving us full um, credits here as well. It's giving us full credits once again. How strange. It's giving it's giving a full like proper credits ending to um to quiet leaving. That time winters zero voice is bugging me. Because we saw that in the credits before at the end of chapter one. I also thought Strange Love was a little bit weird, but then um, we got a tape with her, so that's cool. I haven't heard anything from Zero, so that's very interesting. I wonder if there's something I haven't got to yet, or something that could potentially happen. Or maybe it's in a tape, or maybe it's in, like, just like a passing by voice or something that we hear. I don't, I don't even know. Wow. So yeah, full proper credits and a farewell to to quiet. I guess quiet's gone. We were so close to saving her and bringing her back, and then all of that shit happens. I really like how well it was portrayed and like animated in how much hesitance uh, quiet was going. Like the like the real like struggle that she was going through there. Um, like you could see how torn she was about she's like far I have to speak I have to I have to speak to save the boss right now which was which was crazy she was trying to speak in another language and Pequod's like dude I don't know what the fuck you're saying ah oh, man that's crazy And now she's now she's gone. She's walked away, faded away. But the boss got to hear her voice properly through tape. I'm just concerned now because I think we have the English strain. You have the results of quiet scans. Yes, as I suspected, her entire body underwent parasite therapy. The parasites compensated for her burnt epidermis and provide her blood with oxygen through cutaneous respiration instead of pulmonary respiration. In addition, they replaced the digestive organs she lost, and she receives carbohydrates through photosynthesis. Was Skullface responsible? There is no other possibility. Skullface ordered Quiet to assassinate Snake, only she got set on fire instead when he woke up in that hospital. But then Skullface revived Quiet through his parasite therapy, at the same time infecting her with the English strain. That way, even if the assassination failed again, she could still kill all of us just by coming here. That was the third English mating pair. Correction, the first and only English pair to be carried by a person. So either because she wanted to get even with Snake, or because she was working for Skullface, Quiet approached Snake again. Though in the end, for whatever reason, she did not complete her objective. Some change of heart, perhaps. We won't hear it from her. Dude, I... I don't think anybody... Because even the boss wouldn't know, because he was, like, currently... Uh... <laughs> Poisoned uh, by a snake uh, that bit him, passing out. I don't think he knows that Quiet spoke. I don't think that no, anybody's aware about the English strain. We've got a new cassette tape. But, um, yeah, I'm a bit concerned here. I'm really curious to see how this gets resolved how this is going to continue because we know 
that all of the big players, at least, still continue. They live on past this scam. So what is the deal with the English strain? She spoke a round snake. So we got Quiet's theme, and then we got another tape for Quiet, which is Quiet's message. I did not choose to be quiet. I wanted to express my feelings to you. If only we shared a common tongue. Vengeance was what drove me to them. The only language left to me, revenge. But the words we shared, no, that was no language at all. That is why I chose the language of gratitude instead and go back to silence. I am quiet. I am the absence of words. Okay, so this is what she just said before, but we actually got it properly in tape form. Okay, there you go. Quiet has left. Quiet's gone. Um, we have a main mission to complete, um, but we will end this episode here. So we have tried to rescue Quiet and and failed. That mission went spectacularly wrong. <laughs> um, and I'm really curious, like really, really curious to see how this is going to uh, continue. So we'll find out next time. We'll complete this uh, next main mission uh, that we have been granted um, and and see and see see what's happening. But guys, thank you so much for watching this episode and I will see you next time.